thought we'd take it so. Shouldn't we be getting back to camp? If there's going to be trouble. We can't just leave them lying there. Oh, my legs are almost giving way. I feel so tired. Well, we have been up all night. Care Paravel. Do you suppose we'll ever reach it? Alone. But who has done it? What is it? More magic. Yes. More magic. Aslan! Oh, Aslan! You're not dead, Aslan! You're not a... Do I look like it? Oh, you're real! You're real! Aslan! Aslan. Oh, I feel my strength coming back to me. I feel it is time for a roar. You'd better put your fingers in your ears. and we saw you. The witch knows the deep magic, but there is a magic deeper still which she has never known, for her knowledge goes back only to the dawn of time. In the stillness and the dark before time ever began, there was a different incantation. When a willing victim who has committed no treachery offers his life in a traitor's stead, the stone table will crack and death itself will be denied. Oh, I see. We cried our heads off and you knew all along it would be all right. I knew of the old incantation. 
But it has never been put to the test until now. You took that risk to save Edmund? Come. We've a long journey to do. You must ride on me. <laughs> Daylight will catch him unprepared. Form the battle lines and keep all silent. Hmm. I've never yet met a gruel or a hag who could keep silent. They stay silent all. Castle, hold tight. doing? I don't know. Once the feet are put right, the rest of him will follow. That wasn't exactly what I meant. Bless me. I must have fallen asleep. Now, where's that dratty little witch that was running about on the ground? She had a magic wand. And she turned you to stone. Eh? What's that? Turned you to stone, she did, and I've just restored you. Well, drop me.
Lucy, daughter of Eve, you came back. But, but where? She's gone. Aslan has saved you. Aslan. I just wish I knew where those girls were. With Aslan, wherever he is. Well, I wish they were all here, especially Aslan. Today's work is not yet over. If the witch is to be defeated, we must leave for the battle at once. But how are we going to get out? The gates are locked. Hey, you up there. What's your name? I am Giant Rumblebuffin, if it please your honor. Well then, Giant Rumblebuffin, let us out. Certainly, Your Honour. It will be a pleasure.
There are many others wounded. Yes, I know. Wait a minute. Daughter of Eve. Daughter of Eve. Others are also at the point of death. Must more people die for Edmund? not. But oughtn't he be told? No, Lucy. It would be awful for him. Think how you'd feel if it were you. Well done, Ed. <laughs> Good lad. <laughs> but where's the White Witch? She will trouble us no more. Friends of the great battle, we shall sleep here tonight. And tomorrow to care Paravel where the prophecy will be fulfilled. <laughs> Once a king or queen in Narnia, always a king or queen. Bear it well, sons of Adam. Bear it well, daughters of Eve.
When Adam's flesh and Adam's bone sits at Care Paravel in throne, the evil time will be over and done. You mustn't worry. He'll be coming and going. He needs to be free. And he has other countries to attend to. But will we manage without him? Oh, he'll often drop in. But you mustn't press him. He's not a tame lion, you know. He's wild. And he always will be. And so the seasons pass and the years pass. And all Narnia grows in gratitude to its young rulers. They have made good laws and kept the peace and saved good trees from being cut down. They are all loved. The stalwart warrior, King Peter the Magnificent. Queen Susan the Gentle. King Edmund the Just, and my first little friend, Queen Lucy the Valiant. Here is a great marvel. I seem to see a tree of iron. Madam, if you will look closely upon it, you will see it is no tree, but a pillar of iron with a lantern set thereon. By the lion's mane, a strange device. Just remember, that thing's a lamppost. Listen! It's the MacReady. has gone by at all since we climbed into that wardrobe which is why we felt we had to explain sir how the four fur coats from the old wardrobe are missing and the galoshes it uh, was very cold there and we didn't even know then if we'd ever get back and it was the most sensible thing to do we'll go back and try and look for them if oh come now nobody wants you to go back searching for a few moth-eaten old coats you... you do believe us, sir? Naturally. But you won't get back to Narnia again by that route anyway. Not by the wardrobe. No. No. You mean we may go back? Well, of course you'll get back to Narnia someday. Once a king in Narnia, Always a king in Narnia. By the way, I shouldn't mention this to anyone else. And yet you find that they've been there too. But how will we know? Oh, you'll know. You don't think you're the only ones to have had such an adventure, do you? Oh. Bless me, what do they teach them at these schools? <laughs> <laughs> 